Hey guys, getting started in just a few waves. <coughs> just getting started in a few minutes. Uh, we have Valves by uh, Native Instruments, and it's new. It was just released, so I'm really happy to do this live stream. And we we will get started real soon. Just waiting for more folks to join. So it's kind of spontaneous, but uh, as usual. But uh, I'm just gonna explore things, see what's uh, what's inside, how it sounds, and uh, it looks very exciting. And you can also check my channel for the review and demo. So uh, yeah, let's see what's inside. Let's see what exactly is valves. And I'm gonna just get the camera open so uh, you can see my face. Right, okay, now the camera works. That's really cool. Um, and we are live. So. <laughs> So obviously this is a brass library, but it's not your usual brass library. And uh, there's uh, lots of stuff that you can do here. It's kind of, well, it's kind of different. And you can see that we have five different, we have that five different instruments here. Uh, flugelhorn, we have French horn, we have trombone, we have uh, euphernium and tuba. So uh, that's really cool stuff, and you can layer them together and sequence them, uh, get, get them in sequence, so it's pretty nice stuff. So this, this preset is all swells, but I can go with something a little bit different, like rhythmic. And let's see, chain of quarters. So just gonna try out some of the presets. Right, so when you go into the engines here, you'll see that we actually have sequences for each of the instruments. And you can build this your on your own. It's pretty easy. And uh, so I see that we have some folks joining here. So don't be shy. Say hello. Let me know if, uh, if you can hear me, if everything works. I never know how it sounds. Right, so what we can do right now, let's uh, just get everything out of the way and concentrate on the trombone and I'm gonna clear. So now I have a four by four beat and the grid is eight. And what I'm going to do is gonna click this plus and now I have all kinds of uh, articulations and playing styles that I can just build here. So I can have like a swell that will take, let's say one bar, and then I can click the plus again, go with crescendo and have two beats maybe, and another one that will be a staccato, and I can continue with another staccato, and it will sound like this. Right, and it's actually it's actually not in the center. So I'm guessing if I go into the settings here, we can see that the, how the trombone is set. So you can see the the panning is all the way to the right right now. It's gonna just go back to the center. And you can see the wheel 
how it's turning. Let's go back to the engine and click the plus here, get the sustain all the way. So things like that. And I can go for another preset and see again what's inside and you get the idea. So you can build different articulations, different playing styles and just layer them together. <laughs> This is going to be the last espresso of the day, hopefully. So um, what else do we have? So first of all, what is interesting here is that we actually have three different layers of sequences, not just the one. And as you can see on the bottom, we have A, B, and C. So you can program three different patterns for each of the instruments and then you can just automate that or maybe use that as you play <laughs> And you can see the letters, so when, when I'm somewhere here in the middle, I'm not quite on the B, but uh, still not quite on the C. So as I go to the right, you'll see that we have more of the C layers or C sequences. <laughs> Right, so that, that is the kind of things that you can do with valves. And what else do we have? Let's try another one. So again, going into the engines just to see what's inside. Right, and let's try. Instead of rhythmic, we can go for basic. Just try the basic stuff. Dynamic swells. And what you can do, by the way, is click this drop down here and have this run as an arpeggio. Right, and you can go, well, it's pretty limited, I have to say. So we have the arpeggiator going either up or down, and then we have alternate voicing that can go into different instruments. So that's another kind of thing that you can do here. Let's try another one, slow swell. And we can go with something that is rhythmic. We did that actually, so let's go with complex. Brass bells. And again, going into the engines here, you can see exactly what's happening. You can see exactly what kind of playing styles or articulations we have for each of these instruments, but not only that we can go into the mixer settings I don't know how they call it because I didn't really read the user manual yet this was just released so what you can see is that we have the different instruments as you click the tri title here you're just focusing on uh, on any of those and then you have the panning left right center you have the Gain volume here, and we have insert effects which are pretty limited. So we have um, we have tone compressor and tape saturation. And we also have some send effects. So we have two send effects, and you can change them pretty easy. Just click the title here, and we'll get a choice. So we have delay, we have room, hall, plate, spring, and special. 
I'm not really sure what floating is. Resonator, I guess I know. Reversed, I can imagine. But let's have like an eternal delay here. So I'm going to click that. Too bad it's not double clicking and closing back. you get the idea so um, again I'm just checking out just checking out the new valves library it's a contact library it can actually run in the free contact player so that's cool and it was just released so if you have any questions if you're on this uh, very spontaneous live stream just let me know say hello and uh, let's see if we have anyone here and I'm guessing I'll do another live stream maybe later today or tomorrow so more folks can um, can enjoy this and see and have the opportunity to ask questions um, really really um, enjoying this it's interesting because I was actually planning to do a review on uh, native instrument uh, brass libraries so that's nice and uh, so other things that you can do here by the way is let's change the, the next one here you can have something like um, like orchestral hall and for the main effects you can see that we have modulations rate and depth so that's also pretty nice <laughs> that's pretty cool anyway so th these are the the effects and they can can be very creative you can do a lot of stuff with that and so they're under the hood there's a lot of things that you can use to shape the sound <laughs> Right, so that, that is valves, and I'm guessing there's nobody here. I'm all alone, and that's uh, perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm guessing I'm going to play with some more stuff here for fun. So um, other brass libraries that we have in for native instruments will be the uh, symphonic brass solo, and we have symphonic brass ensemble as well as the other brass things that you can find here, which are not really from... Uh, hey, Gary! Nice to see you. I was just uh, just about to give up because nobody was, nobody was really um, joining. <laughs> kind of pathetic, but I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Great to see you here. And just let me know if, uh, if uh, you can hear me fine. And how do you find valves? Any, or if you have any any request, do you do you want to see anything by native instruments? I'll be happy to show you. There, there's tons of stuff here. Right. So there's a lot of things that we can do. All right, so um, so that that was pretty pretty quick overview of valves, and uh, there's a full review or walkthrough in my channel, so you're most most welcome to just check it out, and I'll schedule another live very very soon. So let's see. What else we have just for fun? We can check out some of the stuff 
by native instruments and see what's inside so we have the symphonic brass ensemble so if you go here yep hey greg thanks for joining thanks for joining i was just messing around with valves just you know looking into this do you do you want me to go back to the beginning start from scratch i can do that <laughs> all right so again the idea here is that we have five um, five different instruments we have the flugelhorn we have french horn we have the trombone we have the euphonium uh, euphonium and we have a tuba so uh, for each one we have on the grid we have different articulations or playing styles so you can just clear that Click the plus and then choose from any of those, even noises and motifs. So let, let's take this one, for example. And you can see that we have some options here. We can move it around and we can add more stuff. We can go in like a two bar or one bar swell. And I can shorten it, I mean, I, I can just trim it down. So it, let, let's have a listen. And it will just cut. <laughs> hey, Gary. There's always, there's always another library. And by the way, there are tons of uh, libraries uh, for free and you can check you can check uh, um, Spitfire, by the way, uh, they have the Spitfire labs, they have some stuff for free, so just check it out. All right, and we can go with the decrescendo four bars. And things like that. Anyway, let's see uh, what else we have. So. Um, Native instruments also have some other stuff for uh, for brass. All right, so we have this ensemble. so th that's gonna be yeah that's gonna be just ensembles but we can we can use one of those um, one of those presets or snapshots here and just get uh, trombones for example and by the way the the mod wheel will be our uh, expression and what do we have here so we have sustain, bent up. I'm just guessing we, we have some key switches. Yeah, okay, so we have key switches. But my keyboard is not that, um, that big, it's 49. So these are, I, I think the labs, the, the lab, the Spitfire lab stuff, you don't need anything in particular and uh, it's, you, you should be fine. So we have trumpets. So this is the brass ensemble. We also have the solo. So here we have just solo instruments like trumpets. Let's see how that loads. Uh, 
So, and by the way, you know, when you're using the complete control, you can actually add, um, you can just click this, um, this plugin here. You can click the plus and get some more stuff. So we can get Native Instruments uh, Replica XD. And we have some horn effects. Don't know what that is. We have a tuba. Yeah, but I, let's remove that replica. So that, that's a kind of standard brass stuff that we have. Um, if, uh, if you want to see something else, by the way, for contact, I got something that I actually need to do a review on, which is the uh, Hyperion, Hyperion uh, uh, Brass by Sound Iron. And I will say that I'm a reseller, so if you want to buy this, you can check my new plugin shop and you can buy that directly there and support the channel. And uh, so that, that's going to be super cool. So let's see what we've got here. So first of all, we have different banks, but it's only brass, fine. And then we have trumpets. So. Right, and again we have key switches. And so each, each of the key switches will get you different articulations. You can see the representation right here. We have space and we can just go and try something. Let's see, ambient trails. Yeah, let's go back to the main and try something else. So that was the trumpets, and yeah, we have Euphorian horn and trombone. Again, we have different articulations. So this center, the, the mod wheel is actually swelling. Cool. And what else we have? We have horns master. Did I do that? All right, guys, so that is, uh, I'm, I'm going to do a review on that. So let me know, let me know um, in the comments or just, you know, find me in Facebook or whatever if you like this. And I'll be happy to do, um, I mean, just a review on that one. So we have True Legato. Very well. hmm, interesting. Horns, we did that. We have tubas. What else we have? Mm, okay, 
So we have trumpet, true legato. Nice. Okay, so that is that is it for now. So I really hope you enjoy this. And we were just looking into the very, very newly released um, newly released library Valves by Native Instruments. So you can check my channel for uh, the full review and everything. And if you have questions, you can just leave comments there. And maybe we'll do. Uh, I'm actually in my in in my channel. If you check my channel for the for the community tab, let me show you. So we can go into the community tab of my channel, and you'll see that we have a lot of stuff going on here. So. Just feel free to uh, to check it out from time to time because I post there. And I was promising that I'll do a live stream on the Arturia Augmented series. And, uh, well, by the way, so we do have in Native Instruments right now the NKS partner. Um, let me just put a link here for you guys. So there's a, an Arturia promotion right now. So um, that one, let me just close that one. So appreciate if you can use my links because they will give me a bit of commission and that is keeping this uh, channel alive. And so I'm really, really, uh, you know, Happy to do these videos and everything, but of course, time is money. So using my links, that's going to be super helpful. Anyway, hey, Simon. Glad to see you. So what, what do you think about this library? I'm really curious to, to, to know. I'm, I'm sure you're going to do a review as well. So this is... This is definitely interesting. I really love the approach of uh, doing something different. So I'm sure you're going to check it out. Yeah, so we're just finishing up this live stream. So yeah, the, so Native Instruments just released this. Uh, I mean, just now. So you can you can see the link in my uh, in the description of this video, and in you can check out my uh, my review. So it's a pretty simple. Yeah, it's 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 been very simple. Uh, it, it is a very simple instrument, but instrument, but it does have five different instruments in it. So it's pretty pretty interesting, and you can build like sequences. And we have actually three layers of these sequences: A, B, and C. So it's pretty cool. So what else? Let's have a little bit of fun. If if there's anything you see here in my uh, in my library of uh, contact, just let me know. I mean, there are some stuff here from other other vendors, like from Arturia. And we also have some stuff here from Best Service and uh, other vendors, like uh, well some Spitfire stuff, by the way. So if there's anything you guys want to see, maybe Apollo 2. Uh, let me show you Apollo 2. I should be doing another one on that one. 
Apollo 2 is, is really interesting stuff. So we have instruments, snapshots, we have plucked, and we can try this one, cleanish. Right, so it's guitar, it's cinematic guitar sounds, and there's a lot of uh, very, very cool sounds. So here we have five different engines and for each one you can load different sounds and then there's uh, performance. You can change a lot of the parameters, a lot of the stuff that's going on here. We have envelopes for each one and you can immediately get a swell, natural or a pad on each one. Let's, let's see what that is. All right, so th this is actually the instrument snapshots and they are, I mean, there are different banks here so we can go with swells. Things like that, it's slowly evolving. Okay, not sure what that is. Let's see, lo-fi dreaming. But there's also the ambient designer. And that's a completely different idea here. So we have different, let me show you that. So there's different things that you can do. And you, do, you don't see, I need to open up the view edit view and we need to see the keyboard right okay so now you see the keyboard so it's uh, we we have color coded things here so each group of colors is a different sound and then you can use that and create your composition And for each group, we have the ending. So you can see that we have the yellow and then we have the bluish uh, endings for that. And we have the purple and their ending. <laughs> Things like that. And so there's actually a review in my channel. So if you're interested in that one, just check my channel. There's a lot of... Uh, information there so other stuff that i have if you guys want to see anything else just let me know there's tons of stuff from uh, applied acoustic systems i got i got stuff from arturia you can see for example the augmented voices if you're into cinematic sounds or soundscapes or patterns or things like that that's really cool stuff right and so that's uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much it so um just uh, just wanted to have some fun here. Hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you guys very soon. I'll try and do another live stream later this week. So, uh, again, you can go into the community tab in my channel right here, and you can comment on anything like this uh, poll here, and let me know what you guys want to see in my next 
in my next uh, live stream. And also, whatever you like to say, I can just post here and you can reply. And so uh, that, that is pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Hey, uh, Zofo, thanks for joining. Um, ah, yeah, I wanted to say that there's going to be there's going to be something super exciting. I'm going to do a giveaway and give away a copy of um, it's going to be uh, Falcon 2. So <laughs> I'm going to do a giveaway and it's going to be super fun. Uh, Falcon 2 is an amazing amazing platform for music creation and so that's going to be our next giveaway so keep an eye on the channel i'm just I, I got it already i need to get my my myself into this and prepare the giveaway but that's coming up real soon so we're going to have this uh, this um, giveaway and i'm going to try and get some more prizes not just this one and this is not cheap, guys. This is three hundred and forty-nine dollars uh, worth of amazing uh, sounds. So I can actually show you that real quick. So we are we are here for the native instrument stuff, but we're okay. So we can go with Falcon. And I actually got tons of stuff here. And so Falcon is um, is actually something you can use and build your own synthesizers or your own instruments. But I'm not going to do that right now. We'll do a live stream just on that maybe some other time. But for now, we can just have a quick listen to the new organic texture um, engine. <laughs> we go into the edit you can see that there's a lot of things going on we can go into the tree view and see all the different layers and all the different things that makes up the sound and you can see everything inside here and that's really cool you can go into arpeggiated and you can see how it's built and there are different sound engines that uh, they're actually um, sample based and synthesis based engines and you can use them to create your own instruments <laughs> So question here, when is the next giveaway? It's probably going to be next week. Okay, so it's, it's not this week. It's going to be next week. A giveaway on Falcon. Right, guys. So I have to go. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. If you have any questions about anything related to native instruments or UVI or UGEM or sound iron or any of those companies just let me know you can get in touch with me also in my discord server the plugin academy and i'll see you guys very very soon bye bye